Right, hello all you lovely tubers. I'm going to have a walk around uh, my new Suzuki Bergman 400. It's an AM400. I just got it about a month ago. This is a 2002 model. This is 11 months MOT on it. There's a little uh, little bit here that we just got to tighten up. It rides really well. It's uh, got 26,000 miles on it. It's got a few owners. Really, really straight bike. So what's my view on it? I have the uh, a newer BMW C400X. My first ride on this. And it's got a lot going for it, to be honest. Uh, it's a 13 inch wheels on it. Let's just go through a couple of the specs on it. We'll put the uh, the camera here, so I can just see it. And then we'll go through some of the specs, what we have. There we go, let's grab all the again. Right, so this was uh, manufactured in 2002. They come with uh, a water-cooled 385cc single uh, SLHC engine in it. Power is 31.27 brake horsepower, 23 kilowatts at 8,000 revs. The torque is 32 newton meters. Final drive is belt. The weight on it is 184 kilograms. The category of a maxi scooter. The engine type, it's a one-cylinder four-stroke single. Uh, displacement on it is 385cc. Uh, the bore and stroke 83mm times 71.2mm. Water cool system again. Uh, the valve train is uh, SOC variable valves, uh, four valves per cylinder, so it's got four valves per one cylinder. It's fuel injected, its compression rating is 10.2.1. Uh, let's just see, it's a wet sump in it. As you can tell, this is all being read off a, a sheet. You can look at these, if you go to my bike on the internet, you can find it on there. Uh, physical measurements, the length of it is 2,260 millimeters. The width is 760 millimeters. The height is 1375 millimeters. The wheelbase is 1590 millimeters ground clearance is 125 millimeters uh, the seat height is 695 millimeters and the dry weight is 184 kilograms uh, front suspension is cartridge suspension treble is 100 millimeters it's got a twin disc on it uh, the tires are 110 by 90 by 13 uh, tire pressure is 1.75 bar Suspension on the rear is a monoshock swing arm with 100 millimeters. Uh, the disc is a 210 millimeter. The rear tire is 130 by 70 by 13. Tire pressure is two bar. Uh, it's not got ABS on this model. Fuel capacity is 131. Number of riders two. It will it will carry most. Uh, right, so let's let's get on and have a look at it. So I'll take all my uh, rubbish off. Off here, and we'll go. So we've got, which is quite hard to do on this, fuel cap under here. We've got a brake lock here. Turn the position, turn your switch on, pull your clutch in, and start your bike. Let's just do that there. And take up the stand. Well, this one has got a slight blow on the exhaust, as you can hear. I've uh, ordered the piece to actually fix that. It's got dueling line brakes, which means, as you can see, the two pipes coming off the brakes here uh, actually brake both front and rear on the left hand caliper, on the left hand brake. On the right hand brake just does the front. I mean, for a 20-year-old bike, she's got a few little marks in her. 
which will I'll buff and clean up a bit. There was loads of space on these bikes. If we uh, come to the right side, as you can see underneath, a bit untidy. We've seen this on one of the other videos. Rear back box on it. Yeah, she's a cracking little bike. She's got a optimizer charger on it. She's got a USB, a twin USB output with a volt meter to tell you what's on the battery. Uh, standard gear indicators. A standard bike. Right, let's stop this and let's get uh, and give it a little ride, eh? Now let's start her off. Let's hope the microphone works now. Another microphone. See if this works on the bike. So we'll uh, we'll take her for a quick ride. Let's pull her off a stand. She's quite light, actually, quite low sitting down. What a beautiful day for this. Turn on. Right, and let's take her out for our first ride. And to be quite honest with you, she's got a little bit of blow on the exhaust, which will get fixed. It rides beautifully. Got a fair bit of grunt in her. She's not, not as much grunt as what the BMW has got. But that's the only one I can compare this bike to. Handles really well. Very smooth. Quite well protected, even though it's windy. Uh, just where the top of my fingers are now is where the uh, wind was catching my fingers. Let's just take it around it. Uh, it feels a bit light on the front end. The 13 inch wheels on this, it's quite a long wheel base on it. Really good on fuel. Uh, speed on these, they reckon up to 97 miles per hour. I'm not that I'd want to do that. Very, very comfortable, in fairness, much more comfortable. It is much more comfortable than the BMW. The BMW seat is very, very wide, even though that's comfortable. This has got a really good support, it's quite thick. Handles really well in the corners. Brakes, they're the uh, dual brakes, so you pull the left hand, it'll break them both. Positioned, light in corners, the mirrors are absolutely excellent looking out there. Indicating in the door is really, really well built. It's nice to touch the hat, you can feel it's not cheap. The Bergman, I believe, they were are like the, the, the daddies of uh, Maxi Scooters, because they were allegedly the first ones out. Many years ago, I, I rode the, uh, the Sim Scooter, which I didn't uh, care for at all, but was much younger. Uh, and didn't uh, like to vary from sports bikes. Now, as you get older, you try all different ones, I'm quite enjoying it. Braking handling really good on it. And I could imagine the weather protection on this is fantastic. Uh, the, the C400, which I had, it's quite, you're quite well protected, but not as much as this. I'd say this is probably about the same as the uh, BMW GT400. Eighty plus to the gun out of this. Absolutely loads of fun to ride. It's not a, fa it's not a super fast bike, it's not, it's not as quick as a BMW for pulling off the park. But it's got enough. It's certainly something you could get on and you could do good mileage on it. 
and be comfortable when you get off. Uh, this is probably one of the first models, as you go up to 2003, they changed the dash a little bit and they want to become a bit more uh, fancy. Easy in corners. No problem at all. It's a lovely, lovely day. It's so good. It's actually a nice breeze which is out there now. I'm not sure I like to, uh, to handle, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just pull in here. I'll just pull up. I'll just get off. I'm just going to have to spin around. So she's she's quite light. She's not not heavy. And we're on a, we're on a steep here, as you can see. Quite a large turning circle in it. And what we'll do, we'll get on and just spin around. And to turn around, I'll let my feet down. Yeah, easy enough to move. You don't have to be on this whatsoever to move it. No vibration through the top bars. There is a bit of vibration through the uh, the feet where your feet are along the bottom. It's got a little bit of a dribble there. Not really, but not that bad. Nothing to worry about. Really clear. I say precise indicators in uh, women gear. Yeah, brakes are really, really good. It's definitely a very, very comfortable bike to ride. I can see why people uh, buy these rather than buying the uh, where the plasters are number one maxi scooter. It'd be interesting to actually ride a new one to see what the new one's like in comparison to a, a 20 year old one. As I say, personal thoughts between uh, my BMW and this, it'd be my BMW hands down. Not just for all the gadgets, it's just a, a nice, it's a nice riding uh, scooter than this is. The handles are coming much better. The handles are well, I think the difference is it's because it's uh, 13 inch wheels on the front and back, and it's a longer wheelbase on this. So it, it turns very sharp when you're up to the bottom and it's got a jump into the roof of Vegas. That's a 
easily cruise on this. Big FD cruiser there. The light should change any minute now. Absolutely fantastic. You wouldn't do well to buy one of these. The car breaks down and you're not carrying people. And there's only you in it, and this would do you all year round. It's actually been quite a lovely to ride. Right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching the Birchwood Biker. See you on the next one.